Hello everybody, hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's not cryptocurrency technical analysis. Actually a different style of video today, just put out the post, who would be interested in the in the, in the, in the travel vlog to the Abbey and a lot of people were interested, so here we are, we're doing it. I will let you join me on the travel to the Abbey where it's actually going to be a cryptocurrency meetup, uh, lots of other traders going to be there. I will give you my thoughts on this during the course of the video. Let's just say it's going to be interesting. And uh, yeah, it's going to be funny, but very interesting. Uh, anyway, this is just a quick one to say hello, start of the video. Unfortunately, we are going to have to say goodbye to Doge, who is currently molting. She is just getting hair absolutely everywhere. Say hello to the people. Hello, chart champions. <laughs> She wants to smell you. <laughs> You're going to say hello, aren't you? She's going to say hello. And I'm going to say goodbye. We'll see you at the airport. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, see you there. Cheers, everybody. And, and now it's time to get some sleep. And what's really cool about this one is it lays out into a full bed. So you see this? A very nice hole. Bed with a nice view. A nice view of nothing, but I uh, got my from cutting coke. They got, they actually got a really cool bar. You can go up to the, uh, you go up to the bar, walk around. I might do a video of the bar on the way home because now I'm going to sleep. So good night, everybody, and I will catch you in Dubai tomorrow. Cheers. Oh, let's go all the way back for the end of the video. There we go. Good night, everybody. Also, I thought this might make you laugh. You know how I like, I love reggaeton. I love, uh, well, actually I love like all types of music, but obviously number one reggaeton. I thought this might make you all laugh. Right now, listening to the tune of Toss a coin to your witcher. Toss a coin to your witcher, oh valley of plenty, oh valley of plenty. <laughs> this is this is a this is a, a variety of uh, a variety of music songs. Especially if you're from the Champions Group, you know, you know when I get on my my tunes, we got the big 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 variety on here. Here we are with the apartment tour MTV cribs. Not really a crib, but here we are in the hotel. <laughs> but it sounds better. Uh, lovely, lovely, oh yeah, that was going to say, lovely bath. Look at that, I'm going to spend a lot of quality time in that. That looks, that looks very nice. Uh, obviously the lovely TV on the wall and the, the surprise. I walked in here, I was like, what is this? Some balloons? Is it my anniversary? Have I got a child I didn't know about? But no, Mr. Bybit, thank you for the balloons. Very nice. Um, <laughs> obviously the star of the show. It's not the it's not the drinks fridge. It is the lovely view that we have here, right out onto the pool in the boiling hot sun. We've got some beach and sea over there, some skyscrapers in the background, and the star of the show. Right there, we got the pool bar, and it's calling me. It's it very much is calling me to go down, take my clothes off, and jump in that pool and and have a beer. So that is the, that is the tour, short and sweet. Let's go enjoy. Cheers, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hope that you are well. And I need to start off this video by apologising, and that is because I have actually recorded absolutely nothing. Um, yeah, let's just say I need to work on my vlogging skills, and that primary vlogging. Oh my god, this is blinding me right now. Okay, take two. When I'm not totally blinded. And as I was saying, um, yeah, <laughs> my vlogging skills are not the best because I didn't actually manage to bring the camera at all with me. But you know, I've been having a, I've been having a really, really good time, uh, primarily through the people that I've been meeting. Uh, we've done some, we done like three or four like chart champions meetups where the champions members came together, and that was my highlight personally. That for me was really, really, really fun. Um, but yeah, let me explain some of the stuff that we've been doing because I didn't actually record it all. So there was, <laughs> uh, it's actually quite hard to remember. We have done 
let, let me let me actually think about this. I'll probably talk about it when I get home because I need to actually take some sleep. And when I get home, <laughs> I'll update everybody. I'm sorry, I need to work on this vlogging skills, but thank you ever so much, everybody, and goodbye. So there you go, everybody. That was the first and maybe last vlog that you will see me do on this channel. Why? Because I was absolutely awful at it. Recording zero footage at all. So I'm gonna do a really quick overview. Now I'm in my natural habitat with the charts. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick review, I suppose, of Dubai. And then I have a few questions for you to, to end this. Uh, so the first thing, Dubai. Um, would I go back, I suppose, is going to be the number one question. Uh, I am debating to go back for the Qatar uh, World Cup. Not because I want to go back to Dubai per se, but because I'm more interested in the World Cup. And then, you know, is it easier to stay in Dubai and like jet across for each match and come back rather than stay in Qatar? But that's the only reason I'd go back, not because of the city itself, really. Uh, was I a fan of Dubai? The answer is no. Again, just my personal opinion. I know some people absolutely love it, but in my opinion, you know, it, what I like to do when I go on holiday is get really integrated to the culture, um, you know, go to the non-touristy places, like meet the locals. Um, that That's my type of holiday, going around old towns, you know, seeing history, and, and you just don't have that in Dubai itself, obviously, a relatively new city, uh, you know, you could call it a fake city, and it's not just the sea itself, but it's also the of course, it depends in which part you go. I understand this totally. But the vast majority of it is catered towards, you know, tourism, uh, flashiness, like almost like everybody's just trying to flex like everywhere you look. And it's just all about money. And for me personally, it's just not my not my scene. That just is totally not my scene. So, um, yeah, it, it was a nice trip. Uh, obviously, uh, the primary reason we were there was with with Bybit, of course, and there was a lot of, loads of other Bybit people there. The actual staff at Bybit met them. Oh, I absolutely loved them. Uh, yeah, the, the Bybit staff themselves are really, really good, fun people. Uh, the Obviously, the other YouTubers, you know, if you think of a large YouTuber, they were most likely there. Um, yeah, that, that was totally not my scene at all. It was... Um, yeah, it was just basically like a marketing fest. Everybody just trying to like organize doing videos together. Uh, just like the whole thing for me was ultra, um, maybe ultra cringy, ultra like just totally not my scene. This at, at all, I could not be bothered to like even talk about doing videos with other people. Like everyone's there discussing like MACD and RSI crossovers, like getting super excited when Bitcoin was rising, and um. Yeah, for me that that, that was uh, was not the best thing. For me, the best thing was was actually then going off on my own and meeting Chart Champions members. Obviously, we done some Chart Champions meetups over there. Uh, four, uh, you know, I was only there for a few days, but we you know we done like four uh, Chart Champions meetups, which was really good actually. Uh, met some, obviously, then got to meet some locals. Uh, got to meet some people from all over the world that obviously are, are there in Dubai. Some people were there for the. Um, a, a, a the, the Dubai Expo and other things and then they come across to say hello you know really 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 fun I enjoyed that totally that that for me is the best yeah it was definitely the best part it was just really really cool um so yeah that that was my overview I suppose of the holiday what I didn't I record as much as I did I uh, really simply I just didn't I just didn't even think about bringing the camera around. I suppose I, if I am good to do more, I need to become accustomed to 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 doing that because that's obviously not something I'm used to. Um, so yeah, I suppose I will leave this up to you. Um, please leave a comment down below and genuinely say yes or no. Like, would you be interested? Like, two questions, I suppose. Would you be interested in me doing vlogs only on travels, really? More more so like traveling, meeting chart champions members, meeting other traders. Uh, like, would that, would that be something you're interested in? Not, not, I'm not going to do like daily vlogs or anything like this, but just when I travel, would you be interested in seeing that? Yes or no answer, I suppose. And second of all, if you are interested in it, do you think I should upload the vlogs to this channel? And remember, they're going to be few and far between. I'm not going to be doing them often. But do you think I should upload them to this channel when I do them? Or create a second YouTube channel, which is called like um, Daniel Vlogs or whatever, something like this. And when I go uh, traveling, like upload the vlogs to a separate channel. So that this channel stays just for trading. Those are the two questions that I have for you. Number one, would you like to see more of them? Number two, if yes, 
do you think I should upload to this channel or another one? And last but not least, I am going to attach a few random clips um, from when I was in Portugal to the end of this because that was this was an ultra, ultra fun trip. I, I absolutely loved it there. Uh, obviously, I managed to hang out with Igor, Mike, Stefan, uh, Tiago. It was just ultra, it was just really, really fun time. We are, You're going to see some of the things we got up to, just a very small portion of the things we got up to. But um, yeah, I absolutely loved that. That was fun. I want to do that more. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoy the next part. Leave the comments and let me know and uh, enjoy the rest of this video. Thank you and cheers. Bye. Here we are. Just just arrived to the beach from Mike. And this is this is the first time Mike has been at this place. That just is, arrived. That's correct. And what do you think of this place, Mike? Um, it's really beautiful. We have a we, we have a castle over there. Uh, the there's some really beautiful seawater over there and I'm about to test the uh, it's quality. To jump in. <laughs> so I told him right the first thing you got to do the f f first way of getting into the pool is, well the, the sea is to jump so this is this is going to be we've literally been here 10 seconds turn on the camera and says right here you go Mike test out oh my can you see the crab oh yeah there is a crab right there <laughs> Then ask for further investigation. <laughs> he's he's dead. That crab's dead. Yeah. You think you think he jumped from here? <laughs> he probably or... jumped and got wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope that doesn't happen to him. <laughs> probably on, he's probably on the water. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's he, yeah no he's dead. He only has three legs unfortunately. So we, well, we, we hope he survived this. Let me show you how to do a swing failure better then. Because first you take out the load. Yeah. And then you bounce back above, right? <laughs> kind of looks something along the lines of this. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> there we go. And now I will follow you in. Well, there he goes, jumping down. But I have got my goggles so I can look at all the little, the little fishes. There you go, mate. This is, uh, this is my, this is my fashion. And I, and I haven't tested, this is a new GoPro, so I haven't tested if this is waterproof. So I hope it's waterproof, but there's only one way to find out. So let's find out. Oh, see my pockets up. Oh no. You got your phone in there, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, this uh, mask is gonna go in the water as well. Here we go. Three, and go over here. Don't want to land on the uh, crab, you see. I don't want to drop this either, really. <laughs> Just don't let go, I think. Three, two, one. Yeah, yeah it's still working. <laughs> I'll get down and do some videos of the little fish now. <laughs> yeah, this is really cool. I need a... You can get an attachment that floats, so then if you drop it... Yeah, I need to get this because yeah. <laughs> this is going to be annoying holding this all the time. Uh, I didn't know what the controls were. Good views into the uh, sun coming down. We are the, at the top of the castle. Very, very nice. Very nice. Chilling. Yeah, they're filling up here with the big CC big C -C. Mm. I'm looking at a castle. Do this, do that. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> Very nice. We can try out that pool in a second and see how warm it is because I think that... Hello, Stefan. Hello. You ready for this uh, cold water? Oh, there he is, straight in. <laughs> Whoa! How cold out of 10? It's uh, five. Five. Five, yeah. It's, it's, it's don't say Very cold. Very beautiful day.
Ready? Set. Go. Go. Whoop. Scout the area. He found them, Man. well done Eagle. <laughs> Whoa. Mission complete. You need the glasses to be able to see. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Where were they? Just on the bottom? Yeah. yeah. Sure, open your eyes and go for it. <laughs> so play, mate. It's lovely here, isn't it? Nice and nice temperature actually. The water is really clear as well, yeah, isn't it? So on. Let's go. Come on. Wow. Look down. <laughs> Just look like straight. Oh, it's amazing though. And then we swim in this. You jump, jump down. Jump down into it. Ah, oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> Ready to go. Thank you. You can swim around, slow to down, okay? Slow down. Yeah. Yay! That's a man. Well, I need to. Daniel, Daniel, listen. Oh, what people say? Daniel is a moon boy. I'm a moon boy now. What do you say? What do you say? Oh, uh, amiga, amiga, amiga. What would you say? Bitcoin, Bitcoin price prediction. In 10 in diez años, Bitcoin, como valora? In 10 años. In 10 años. ¿Cuánto será? Bitcoin, como valora? Twenty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> she said twenty-eight. Mate, I don't know what's happening right now. We got an eagle. We got Mike. We got Stefan. We got Tiago. But listen, Leah. We we hid. We hid a bottle of vodka, and we we, <laughs> we got like twenty beers hidden. Right. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. Wait. 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 A key. Mate, I don't know. Oi, it's here, it's here, somewhere. Where's, where's the CCB? Here, somewhere. Hidden. It's hidden here, no? Yes. Yeah. We gotta find it. Yeah, it's here. We gotta find it. Are you still live streaming? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, yes, the CCB? <gasps> yeah, this is the bottle of vodka. <laughs> No, no, but we got 20 beers. Yeah, we got, we got beers. <laughs> My friends. <laughs> what bottle of vodka? Una cerveza? Hey, hey, listen. Oh, we're in a ranked match right now. Holy Christ. This is not good. Oh my God. My team are going to be mad. AFK in a rank. Not here. Are you, do you think you, you're the most strong today? I don't know, maybe... I'm pretty okay, actually. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know, oh, Drinking. It means drinking? Who's the most drunk of us all? What? Someone is asking. Drinking or drinking? Who's the most drunk? Who's the most drunk? <laughs> I don't know. Who's the most drunk? I don't know. Is it, is it this guy? Yeah, this guy? Yeah. This guy? Or this guy? <laughs> I can't read yeah. the comments, me. I don't I know. Can't,